start with what is going on out there. Hey, Ashley. Hey, Jennifer, a ripple effect indeed as thousands of flights were canceled today. I can tell you today was not the day to fly if you were headed to the northeast, all because of this major winter storm. I've been up since 7 this morning, and uh, it's been a long day. <laughs> Margie Belwar is one of the lucky ones. Traveling from Philly, she spent nearly 12 hours making her way down south. Belwar was able to escape the brutal blizzard that's blanketing the northeast. I'm just grateful that I'm here and, and, and away from it for at least 10 days. Like thousands of other passengers, Belwar got an alert telling her that her flight had been canceled. I knew that I would not be able to get out if I had waited, so I changed the flight last night. Well, we're seeing a lot of cancellations. More than 7,000 flights across the country were canceled Monday. Many air carriers are continuing the cancellations into Tuesday. Carriers like JetBlue and Delta have waived their flight change and cancellation fees for passengers who can't take off. Just keep checking on their websites. Um, you know, sometimes you can change it right there. Um, you know, United, JetBlue, and Delta all have flights to the Northeast. So, you know, just stay on top of it and make your changes as soon as you can. Changes so, Bell were made in the nick of time. Her advice to those who couldn't escape the blizzard? I would just tell them to stay home, stay warm. Have a glass of wine and watch a movie. And airport officials told us that they will not be issuing out vouchers for passengers who have to stay over another night for them to stay at hotels. We did some calling and we did find a couple of hotels are offering discounts for those passengers. One hotel, the Country Inn and Suites, they are offering $19 discounts, so you're looking to pay about $75 a night if you have to check in. For now, reporting at the Savannah Hilton Head Airport, Ashley Lincoln for WJCL News.